so you want to go to krita.org to get the free program that will let you change the shape and size of the image. Then you want to click on the download link and then this button should match your operating system. If it doesn't, click on all download versions and choose the one you want. Now I've already got Krita and I'm working on Linux as you can see, but don't worry, Krita is the same on all operating systems. So download Krita, install it, and start it up. Now then, when you get Krita open, uh, let's, let me reset, let me reset. When you get Krita open, you should see this screen. And your recent documents will be empty because you don't have any recent documents. <clears throat> so the first thing that you want to do once you get into Krita is you want to go to Window, Workspace, Default, and click it. That will get you here so that your workspace looks like this so that you can follow along. The next thing you want to do is either click Control-O or Command-O on, on Mac OS, or you go to the File menu and you say Open. Then you navigate to the images that you downloaded, and I'm going to work with this one. So either double click it or click it once and then click Open. And then you've got your image open. Now then, you want to select the crop tool. Now that's this one right here. It looks it looks like uh, you can hit C to get it, or you can click on it. And then you want to just drag any shape, any size box. Click and drag. Then you want to go to the upper right corner here and see tool options. And it's a little cramped, so you want to grab the window and pull it open so you get more space. Now then, you want to set the width to a, mul a 10 multiple of whatever you end result you want. So if you want 8 by 10, you want to do 800 by 1,000. Okay. Then you want to click on this little unlocked button to lock the aspect ratio. This bottom lock. Now, when you grab one of these corners, you can see that I can't change the shape anymore. So then you just drag all the way on all of the things to make it as big as possible. And then you want to slide it around to open to set it up where you want it. So that's pretty good. Now then, if you accidentally get zoomed in, you want to zoom out with the scroll wheel, and then you hold down space and click and drag to move it around. So that like if you ever get stuck like this, you want to zoom out and then space bar, click and drag, and then zoom back in with the scroll wheel. So that's basic moving around. So once you've got it cropped the way you like, hit the enter button and it will crop it. Now then, we're almost done. We have an 8 by 10 picture, but it's not going to print the right size yet. So you want to go to image, scale image to new size, and then you want to click on the width and set it to eight, and it automatically changes it to by 10 and to the right resolution, so it didn't throw away any of your information. And then you click OK. And now the image is set up properly for you to print it out at 8 by 10 so that you can 
get your image printed. Then you do file, save as. Now then, the only thing you want to change is this bottom thing that says filter. Right now it says PNG image. You want to click here and you want to change it to JPEG image. Then click save. Then you can adjust the 96% the default to 100 if you want to save the last little bit of quality, but I'll show you it. You, you can't tell human can't tell the loss in quality from 96 from a JPEG. So then you close the window, which uh, will be on the left for Mac OS, I think. And then you're done.